What's going on apes? Welcome back to the channel. This is a video that you need to watch in its entirety. We're going to be going over the bounce that we have been seeing, the dark pool data that you guys need to know. What is the short percentage of the activity going to the dark pools? I will tell you right now that it's less than what we are used to seeing just even a couple of months ago. How is that going to play into a potential short squeeze that we are going to see next week we also must start off this video with a video from young biden that is quite unsettling for a lot of people so uh let's get into it hit the like button subscribe to the channel get your free stocks down below in the description and if you guys want to come trade with us link down below in the pinned comment but let's get into uh this video and it's in the first couple of seconds so biden's basically addressing nato and uh really american troops over in uh poland pretty close to the border right here so give it a play and then uh we'll talk about it look at how they're stepping up look at how they're stepping up and you're gonna see when you're there so how you've been there and you're going to see when you are there could be an intelligence leak. It could be just mumbo jumbo from Biden. I don't know. But a lot of people are talking about this. And uh, if this were to escalate in that direction, you're, I mean, you're talking World War III, then you're going to be looking at a huge flash crash in the markets at the very minimum. You're going to be looking at a lot of pain in the stock market. So take that for what it is. What I will tell you, though, is that we have seen some very weird moves in the markets. Like we talked about just a couple of days ago, you were seeing TLT that started to pop. Now it's actually down, which is good. But this day right here was a very strange day. So I'm going to watch the bonds a lot, but we went up 2%. Uh, pretty much after we've been consecutively dropping, we have continued to drop. So that is a good sign. That is a normal correlation as the Fed is raising interest rates and they're going to raise them more aggressively. TLT should go down, meaning the interest rates should go up or the yield on bonds should go up. If you start to see this actually going up again, the price of this asset and the, the yield going down, that shouldn't happen. And that's your biggest flag that you could see a red flag if you want to call it that of uh something is not right in the markets like you've seen and i've went over this a couple times you've seen this start back in january of 2020 as big money became fearful and probably knew something about covid the rest of the world didn't know you started to see these weird moves in bonds where bonds went from essentially 131 all the way to 144 in a very short amount of time relatively speaking only about two or three weeks and then what do you see the crash of 2020 and everybody flooded into safety assets and tlt is a 20-year treasury bond obviously united states treasury bond and that's the safest asset in in the world that you can get arguably so a lot of people rush into that when there's times of uncertainty. So I will watch that for you guys very closely and bring you guys that information. It looks okay right now, but uh, if we start to go back up, that's going to be your lead indicator that something is not right. On top of that, today you are seeing a sell-off towards the end of the day. That is definitely a worrisome sign. Like I called out yesterday, if you did see a, a rally into the close today on Friday, that's a good sign. If you see a sell-off into close, not a good sign. It still shows you there is a lot of instability in the markets. But I'll tell you right now, a lot of people are still very fearful. Why do I say that? Well, Apple is on its ninth straight green day. If Apple closes green today, it will be its ninth straight green day. They're at eight green days in a row. I believe this is a record for Apple. I don't think they've ever had eight uh, green days in a row, especially just this level of volatility straight up usually doesn't happen but apple is a safety stock and you're also seeing a lot of other safety stocks doing very well and you're seeing really a lot of your uh, riskier stocks continuing to sell off today and over the past couple of days so we're not quite to the end of trading we have about 20 minutes left so watch that if we sell off into close, it's not looking too good for the weekend and coming on Monday. The why, pe why people do sell out on Friday and why that is such a big indicator to fear is because if people are so fearful, they want to hurry and get out of assets on Friday because who knows what could happen over the weekend. 
not a good sign. And with basically Russia coming out making all these statements about possibly using a nuke and trying to justify that or a chemical weapons attack, it's not good. And Biden pretty much gave uh, Putin a big fuck you by going to Poland today right uh, by you know by ukraine it's kind of a big f you so uh we'll see what happens over the weekend i'm not gonna sit here and make any uh predictions here but you're definitely seeing that fear that is starting to come in the last uh about half an hour of the day today so uh that's that let's get into the short uh interest data on the uh dark pool the dark pool percentage here and we could see for today, or actually for uh, yesterday, because this is one day delayed. It's for March 24th, a uh, 55% dark, uh, dark pool short volume activity. So uh, that is definitely a lot lower than what we are used to seeing over the past couple of months. Past couple of months, it wouldn't be a shocker to see this short volume uh, percentage over 70%. Now, why is this lower? Well, I think it simply comes down to that probe that we extensively talked about a couple of weeks ago and you can't really do the same level of manipulation through the through the dark pools if your citadel virtue goldman sachs jp morgan the guys that are under investigation that really move the markets around right the biggest uh stock market banks if that's what you want to call them that make a lot of their money from stock market trading as well as trading uh, algorithms right like citadels or virtue they can't keep routing all these orders to uh the dark pools which that's a very bullish thing for us because that is letting you know that hey you can't really see that that manipulation anymore to the same extent that we used to see it so thus meaning we could rally a lot harder and a lot longer and that's exactly what you are seeing we're really seeing a consolidation day overall for amc stock we're still above 20 dollars per share we're only down 0.79 percent and take a look at my personal portfolio it's a uh, pretty ugly today down 4.41 percent look at lucid down five percent affirm down almost nine percent paypal down three percent mullen down 21.67 percent DraftKings down five percent amc down 0.89%. UWMC, a mortgage company, down 3.53%. AMD, down 1.75%. Abbey, that's a rush to safety stock right there. Uh, that's up half a percent today. Snapchat, down 5.24%. So I don't know about you guys, but when you look at it like that, it looks like AMC is doing phenomenal today. And uh, by my interpretation, they are doing very well. And if we can remain above $20 per share, that is a very bullish sign heading into next week. And we're going to see a lot of activity. But let me be straight up honest with you. A lot of things can happen over the weekend. I wouldn't get too caught up on what's going to happen on Monday or on Tuesday or, or all of that. You are seeing the liquidity crunch that is happening. Remember all my OGs that have been watching the channel for a long time. You guys already know that a couple of weeks ago, that's what I was talking about every single video was liquidity crunch and now just type in liquidity crunch 2022 you will see tons of articles going over exactly what i said three months ago and it's starting to play out just like i laid it out so we're getting closer and closer and closer to actually seeing this short squeeze event and you are seeing stocks like gamestop actually doing very well today right uh but it wouldn't surprise me for everything to, you know, take a break or GameStop to take a break on Monday or, or go back and forth, right? They're up 6%. So a lot of this sector, GameStop, AMC, uh, retail stocks have been doing pretty well. And I think that is going to continue. And ultimately, if the markets continue to come down, that leads us closer and closer to seeing uh, the MOAS, seeing this liquidity crunch that uh, does take hold and margin calls then turn into uh, for share liquidations again something else that I do want to point out as well We hit $21.69 per share in the beginning of trading close to that $22 level and then pretty much got rejected Again, so I have this level drawn out at $22 per share go ahead pull up the four-hour candlestick chart and uh, It's pretty clear to see all the rejection. We are getting around $22 per share now we need to go above $21 per share and hold up but look at this look at this guys that that is showing a lot of strength even though people you know can say they're bearish on the stock say anything they want well look at the stock price look at the chart it's it's seeing a solid consolidation phase consolidation 
usually nine times out of 10 leads to the stock making another move up. And that's exactly what I expect coming next week. I mean, the chart just looks beautiful right here. Look at that beautiful chart. So it's going to get pretty interesting out there. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't make any definitive conclusions here, but this rally looks to be uh a fake rally. It, it, it's it's not even a real rally at this point. It's a lot of shorts covering as well as a lot of flooding to safety in stocks like Apple. Now let's go ahead and pull up the short interest and all of the other data you need to know around AMC's stock. So for the short, uh, short interest, you're looking at 20.79%. Uh, for the shares that are sold short of 107.13 million, cost bar max of 3.54%, utilization of 100%. Uh, and really, this data has not moved around all too much, but I do want to call out that shorts have not covered. That rally was not shorts covering. Return shares 1.55 million, borrowed shares 2.94 million. So they're actually doing the opposite. They're taking advantage of this to sell more stock short. I've seen a couple videos, people saying, hey, cash out now, this must be a short squeeze. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Let's be honest here. This is not a short squeeze. The data does not reflect that at all. We have not seen one single day, not one single day, where return shares were more than the borrowed shares. We have not seen that one day. So how do you call this a short squeeze? It's beyond me. But I've seen a lot of people talking about that pretty frustrating but don't listen to them they obviously don't know what they're talking about they have no data or facts to back up what they say now the utilization like i said 100 percent and the days cover at 2.89 so this situation looks primed to see another rally to the upside it wouldn't surprise me if amc goes to 40 some dollars next week look at the chart i mean that's just bringing us back to that december level right so it's definitely very pop well actually technically like the november level but december levels in the 30s wouldn't surprise me to see that move. So uh, definitely looking good there. As far as options are concerned, another rock solid day. 51 orders totaling $21.82 million. Positive uh, order value of 92% and $21.82 million. That's, that's a lot again. Day after day, yesterday, you've seen about $20 million uh, worth of options with a 64% positive order value. So a lot of bullish activity from the hedge funds and institutions. And I think this is only the start of what could come here. Now, as far as the Fed rate monitor tool, this is the probability of seeing uh, the Fed's actions on the next meeting. And you are getting about 72.7% .7 probability of getting that half percent rate hike. So nothing has really changed in the markets as well the markets have actually got much more bearish on the front of war escalation nuclear uh possible nuclear attacks right nuclear war uh that's gotten worse the economies around the world have gotten worse the fed has got more hawkish on the economy by raising interest rates at much much faster paces like a half percent rate hike we weren't even thinking about that a couple of weeks ago now that's what the markets are pricing in, but the markets are now rallying off of that. I would be very skeptical on uh, what you guys are uh, uh, doing and your conviction levels here because it's not free and clear. Uh, it's, it's, it's not time to buy the dip in my personal opinion. In AMC, maybe, but not in the broad uh, market. So that's my take on it. As far as the max pain, that was $18 by this Friday. We're well above that, about $20 per share. So uh, definitely looking good there. Max Payne is $17 by uh, April 1st, which is actually my birthday. So hopefully we do see a rally next week. That'll definitely be uh, a good birthday present. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Let's look at the technicals just briefly. AMC has been coming up uh, just a little bit. Like I said, $22 is the key level I will be watching for to see if we can finally break out above that. That's really what I want to see. As long as we stay above $18.50, this is really just a consolidation zone. That's kind of what has been happening, right? This day right here, we went up 13.5%. We had come down a little bit under $18.50, straight back up and, and closed you know, up here uh, at about $21 per share. So consolidation zone in here. Same thing yesterday and same thing today. Staying above $18.50, but struggling to break out above $22 per share. The MACD is incredibly bullish with this gap that is still widening. 
if we go ahead and pull up the Bollinger Bands as well, 20-day simple moving average is coming up now at $16.78 per share. And that's going to be like your worst case scenario. Odds are you will see a lot of support around that 20-day simple moving average as well as the 50 day moving average which is at $17.12 per share so as the stock price remains to be elevated and keeps going up you'll see these moving averages start to curl up as well and that's where you'll see a lot of support on a potential downside move the RSI is still sitting on the overbought side but it's not in extreme overbought levels it's not above 70 neutral is 50 and we're currently sitting at 62.10 so there is still room to make that uh, next move up before we really get into, you know, fear levels with the RSI, you'll start to hear people say, Hey, AMC is overbought, overbought, sell it. Uh, we're not quite at that level yet. And I wouldn't pay attention to that either way. You are seeing a little bit of a move to the upside here in AMC stock towards the end of the day. We only have a couple minutes left. Let's take a look at Apple and uh, let's let's see what Apple is doing here at the end of the day as well. That's going to be key, and that's something I will be uh, paying attention to because that is uh, one of the more safety stocks. And if we see a green close today on Apple, that will be nine straight days in a row of green. This is you would think this is a good sign, but this is not a good sign. People are flooding into safety. And uh, when that happens, you tend to see big downside moves in the market. So that is pretty much going to be all for this video. I believe we did cover everything. Not too much news to actually call out for the day. Besides what young Biden said, nothing too crazy happened. So we'll just have to wait and see what develops over the weekend and how the markets take it on Monday. So that is going to be all. Thank you guys for watching. Get your free stocks down below in the description and come join the trading community if you guys want to be a part of it. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.